welcome into Rock Painting 101. I am switching gears just a little bit. I'm kind of getting into the Halloween spirit. It's probably one of my favorite holidays to paint rocks for. I like to do quick and easy rocks that I can hide around the neighborhood while my kids trick or treat, or you could even hand them out to trick or treaters if you really get a jump start on it. So this is gonna be the first of three videos in a series of little candy trick or treaters. Now last year we did a few different styles of candy while I'm taking my favorite candy, the candy corn trick-or-treater and he's getting dressed up this year so today's tutorial is going to be our candy corn Frankenstein and our candy corn ghost both adorable really easy to do just follow along the tutorial and you can be making your own set of trick-or-treaters at home now if you like this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because we've got four more after these two that we're going to be having tutorials for as well so last year for Halloween, we did a bunch of uh, candy trick-or-treaters and by far my favorite was the candy corn trick-or-treater guy. Um, he was super cute. He's very fun and easy to do. So this year he is going to dress up for Halloween. So I've got a bunch of fun different designs. We're gonna work our way through them a couple rocks at a time, just two per tutorial. I've got six total in my mind as of now. You never know, I could always add to that as time goes by. So uh, the first one we're gonna work on today is our little Frankenstein candy corn. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna map out like where our candy corn's gonna go. I'm gonna move this guy off to the side. So I'm just gonna take, I've got my 1M pen here. I'm using all my Posca's today. I just got a bunch of colors sitting kind of off to the side so I can grab what I need when I need it. All of them will either be the 1M if they're a fine line or 3M if they're a little bit bigger to help color in a little bit. So most candy corns are divided into you know their shapes. So I've got the bottom piece down here like so and then we're gonna have a top piece up here now for a frankenstein he's gonna have a hairline for his top piece like so and then we're also gonna give him a little scar later but for now we're just gonna give him his top okay and then we're gonna color in his body green so i've got my doodle paper here make sure you don't have a different color left over on there from before we're just gonna fill him in all the way green. Cross that bottom line. And we can touch up our outlines when it's all said and done. I always like to do one last crisp outline when I'm done. Green lays on real nice though. You probably won't need a second coat on that. And then we're gonna give him his hair is gonna be black. The one pen I didn't grab was a bigger black. I do want to use up all of my 1M black coloring in, so let me grab that. Well, I couldn't find my 3M, so I'm gonna use my big 5M, which is a little large for this detail work, but I'll at least get most of it colored in with this. And then I'll come back, and then I'm gonna give him black trousers as well. I'm just gonna fill in most of the space with this. This is not great for detail work. It's good for coloring in big spaces. I just didn't wanna use up all my ink in my 1M because it is the pen that gets the most use in my house, for sure. So we're gonna go back in there and clean up those. We'll go ahead, our green is nice and dry anyway, so we'll get these points on here. Like so. And then we'll clean up along the pant line there as well. Now for Frankenstein's, well technically it's Frankenstein's monster, right? We're gonna give him his little bolts coming off the side of his head here. Like so. And then we're gonna give him a couple legs to make sure he can walk. For my legs, I literally do a letter B and a letter D couple arms like so you can give them a couple hand fingers if you want but I'm going for a very cartoony look here we will trace this outer line here on either side 
And we're gonna give him his eyes. And a little smile and a little stitch. And that's it. We're gonna come back and give him a highlight on his eyes in a little bit, but we're gonna set him to the side while we start our next rock. That way the black is nice and dry when we go in there to do it. Um, so I'm going with very classic trick-or-treaters here. The next one I'm gonna do, I think is gonna be super cute. So if you think of the classic candy corn, there's the orange in the center um, and then yellow along the bottom. So we're gonna need orange and yellow for this guy. And then there's two different oranges. I might go with more of the light orange. I think it's more of the light orange. And then we're gonna use white. So I'm gonna start with my basic triangle shape on this one, sort of, okay? When I get down to the bottom here, we're gonna give it kind of a wavy bottom, like so. And I bet you could already guess Possibly, which character this one's gonna be. I mean, you did see the sneak peek at the beginning. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fill that in really good. All right, we're gonna let that dry, but we are gonna come in along the bottom. I think I'm gonna have this drape a little bit further in one direction, there we go. Because we're gonna have our bottom kind of pop out. Like so. Okay, now I can add my legs on while that white's drying. Okay. Also, what we're gonna do we're gonna fill in that bottom part with yellow because that would be the very bottom part of our character. If I can get in pretty close here because I've got my nice 1M, I can get right underneath that white without touching it. Like that. And we're gonna outline the white too. And then we're gonna give him his eye holes. So in his eye holes, the orange would be peeking through. Let me make sure this white's dry. It's not completely dry yet. So we're gonna give that another second. Let's go ahead and line our outer edge here while we're waiting for that white to dry up a little bit. because in his cutouts, we're gonna have that orange show through before we place his eyes, you know, like when your mom cuts your sheet for you. So we're gonna have that go for just another second here. All right, so we're gonna do them kind of low, because these eyes, the way that I build these guys, they tend to be kind of lower on their faces. So we're gonna have these two cutout holes, and we'll outline these in black as well. That's where All right, now we're gonna wait for that orange to dry a smidge before we add our little eyes in there for him. His arms can just be kind of popping off to the side here though as well. Maybe he's got armholes on the sides. All right, while he's drying, we're gonna add our highlight to our little Frankenstein guy. This little upper right hand corner really brings them to life. This one's almost finished over here. Isn't that adorable? Love him. He's so cute. So cute. And I had them have, have little trick or treating bags last year. Maybe I'll give them each a little bucket just because it's a cute little touch. So we'll give them a little bucket here on the side since we have dry time here on the other side. Give 
this one a bucket over here too. I think those are pretty dry now too, so we'll give him his little eyes in here. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. And then the last thing we'll need on this guy here is his little highlights on his eyes. And we can add a little something to this bucket. Might need to get myself something a little smaller. That's a pretty small little bucket there. All right, so we're gonna go in here and just give a little quick jack-o'-lantern face. More of a smile. Nothing too crazy, just a tiny little detail. All right. And we're gonna give him his white highlights and these two trick-or-treaters are gonna be ready to go. So, dot and dot. I think they're good to go. So, two down, I've got four more to come. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of these cute trick-or-treaters to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.